lease over to Liverpool. The word is actually that the Salah to Saudi deal is far from dead this window. Do you foresee that happening? And how immediately important does it become to replace him? And, and how do Liverpool go about doing that? Yeah, look, I've always felt, although it's been very quiet, I've always felt that Salah to Saudi was going to happen this year. Uh, I don't think I'm wrong. I, I think Liverpool have got the decision to make. Do they basically, do they take 100 million, etc., for Salah? Or do they value him that much for this season and let him go for nothing at the end of the season. That's a big number to forego and think he's worth it for the season. And I think most Liverpool fans that I speak to and the experts that I speak to as well agree that probably they should let Salah go. He probably didn't perform at his peak last year. Uh, there were flashes of the old Salah, but certainly not what he was in terms of consistency. So I would still expect him to go. I still think he's got a premium value in Saudi. Um, big time. I mean, as, as, a, as a great Egyptian player in the Saudi market, he's got a huge following. And he would be the obvious sort of poster boy for the Saudi league after Ronaldo's probably coming to the end of his, uh, his uses. So I still expect Salah to go this summer. It's gone very, very quiet. And I don't know if that's because Liverpool want to get the, you know, the, the backups in place, which is probably what they'd be trying to do. They've had to cope with a new manager coming in, uh, a change themselves at the uh, the executive level in terms of sporting director. So there's been some reasons for things being slightly delayed, but now it's coming to the stage where the rubber's going to hit the road and those decisions have to be made. Uh, Fenway Sports, I would think, would be looking for the 100 million uh, rather than letting it go and giving Salah you know, a great last season. Um, it's a big cost, uh, and uh, that's where I think it, it's going to be right now. For sure, and especially, obviously, with Klopp gone and a new manager in, it doesn't seem like they're likely fully challenging for the title this year, so maybe getting that income is the right move for Liverpool. Um, we saw this morning Ornstein drops that they will be looking to sign a new number six, potentially a new center back also signing coming in this summer. Can we expect them to kind of go at the model of signing younger players with a project feel rather than trying to challenge immediately, especially if they bring in you know, such a huge fee for Salah this summer? No, I think they're going to try and get the finished product in there. I think number six is a very important position for them. Um, you know, also, there was talk not long ago as well about, you know, we talked about Gay going to Newcastle. Uh, don't discount Liverpool for that position as well. Uh, it's possible. But no, I think Liverpool will be in the market for a very experienced, high quality, probably mid-20s type player um, that has played at you know a very high level. So... This isn't going to be a youth project for them. I think this is going to be where part of the money is going to go. Uh, I also think, you know, still Van Dijk and Allison are still two, uh, two question marks that may still be unresolved in the next few weeks. So it's been very quiet at Enfield uh, over the summer, uh, and they've got away with it so far with the new manager coming in. But the scrutiny is going to be really on them right now with a spotlight to see what's going to happen during August, and some big decisions have to be made. For sure, and you and you mentioned Van Dyke. Um, obviously, Trent Alexander Arnold. Both of them are in contract talks. Why do you think, and, and how could this have happened that Liverpool have allowed it to get to the stage where a Trent deal is not done yet? Obviously, a player vitally important to them and, and one of the best in the world at his position. Yeah, very strange. Um, you know, a lot of links. People saw him with Bellingham on holiday in, in LA and that sort of stuff. Uh, links of him going to Real Madrid. He's been linked everywhere. Um, Look, I don't know. Uh, it's very surprising uh, why Liverpool would let Trent run his contract down. As you say, he's crucial and has last season he was probably one of their major assets in terms of his new role going forward. Uh, so we've got to see where that ends up. But as I said, there's a lot of question marks around the Liverpool squad at the moment and the spotlight is coming right on it. So the next few weeks, there's going to have to be resolutions or not. Now, I know that there will have been discussions behind the scenes uh, from you know the new sporting director and the whole Fenway group. Uh, there will have been things ongoing that we're not party to, but still, uh, things aren't resolved, otherwise they'd have been announced. So let's just uh, as I say, every week now we're going to be watching what happens on a daily basis. And does any of that kind of fly under the radar a little bit more because Liverpool are having kind of such a successful uh, preseason where they, they've looked very good on the pitch, taking down Arsenal, taking down Manchester United. Does does that kind of help these worries kind of simmer a little bit? Whereas if they were getting, you know, their butts handed to them, maybe we'd be seeing a different uh, portrayal. 
No, I don't think so at all. I think uh, pre-season still is a, is a circus that's a peripheral to the whole thing. I think uh, we just have to keep focused on the reality of the Premier League. And uh, no, I, I think there are still question marks regardless of any result in pre-season. Uh, so I'm afraid that uh, that spotlight is going to be on them. As you say, the Premier League, obviously the number one focus, and, and we're just 10 days away pretty much from, from opening night kickoff. So, yes, Liverpool need to start getting some deals done, whether that's contract talks within the club or, or bringing in new players. Yeah.